I don't want to be a part of hip hop no more. Cause it just, it just ain't right. You might have seen on Facebook that I actually had the opportun opportunity to speak to the game. Now the game, if for those who don't know, is one of the most influential rappers of our time. He's one of the modern day poets. Now we're living in a time where many rappers are leaving the rap industry and coming to Islam. We've got many rappers such as Napoleon from Tupac's Outlaws. We've got other brothers such as Loon and Freeway which have also come to Islam. And it's becoming quite a unique thing where many, many people from the rap industry are actually coming to Islam because they can see that there's something for them. Now I was very interested to know that, that the game was actually coming to Manchester and I got, I got wind that he was, in, he was coming to a secret location which I knew about so I thought I'd go along to give him some dawah. Now we'll come to the dawah later to tell you what happened with the actual points which led to me speaking to him. But first, I want to go to a few clips of the game. He's not happy with his career. It's up, man, because people don't understand, man. And that's why I don't want to be a part of hip hop no more. Because it just, it just ain't right, man. And hip hop, it just didn't used to be like this. Why are you still a rapper? Yeah, you know that you're a role model. For all these millions of people, basically the message you're giving them is misguiding them. You know, people like Malcolm X and, and Muhammad Ali and other role models which have actually stood for what they believe in and left their past. But, you know, I'm in the early stages of trying to find the right balance so that I can mm -hmm. live my life, you know, like drama free towards the later stages. Right. But You're only going to get happiness with the connection with Allah. He came into the restaurant and he had about 20 entourage, he had a big entourage with him, yeah, all of his members of his crew. I started to walk over to his table and his bodyguard stopped me. Game, I need to speak to you. So he started to listen and to get his attention I started to say, look, do you know Napoleon from Outlaws? Because Napoleon's a friend of mine, we met him in Manchester. And I said to him, do you know Napoleon from Outlaws? And he started to listen then because he could recognise the name. I said, I've got a message for you. And he said, what is it? What is it? He, he, he was a bit shocked that this white boy is walking up to him saying he's got a message. I've got a message for you. And I started to talk to him about Islam, started to tell him about Islam, the basics of Islam. After a couple of minutes, he's getting a bit agitated and he's like, look, I don't want to listen, I don't want to listen. You know, I'm not interested, I'm not a Muslim. So I left him, you know, his bodyguards, you know, happily got rid of me. I started to give dawah to Kid Red. He was very confused, you know, he admitted himself that he's constantly chasing money. This is his purpose, constantly chasing money, constantly trying to gain success. And he himself admitted that you can never have enough success because you're constantly chasing in this world. So Kid Red, time to wake up, yeah? Time to look at Islam with a sincere heart and you're welcome to accept Islam. Yeah? You can never have too much success. So, so you're constantly chasing I'm and trying to chase my baby, man. Huh? Chasing constantly that chasing the baby. And the thing is, with a lot of these rappers, yeah, you're constantly chasing that, that, that dream. Mm -hmm. yeah? So that's why you can't have true happiness in this world. In Islam, we say the dunya. Yeah, you can't have true happiness in the dunya. It's kind of what happiness you want. So what? You gotta find happiness in your inner self, not yeah, in the music. And that inner self can only be between you and the creator of the universe. Mm -hmm. yeah? As Muslims, you believe in one creator, you know, Allah, yeah? And Muhammad is the final messenger. And on accepting this, when you accept that there's one creator, and Muhammad is the final messenger, this is how you will gain true happiness. Yeah? There was a table of Muslims, you know, Muslim boys and Muslim girls, yes, in, girls were in, in hijab, and are so upset to see what happened. You know, what happened is all these Muslims have come to see the game. One of the brothers, a Muslim brothers, he decides that he wants a picture with the girls. He wants a picture with the groupies, games groupie girls. So he says to games entourage, he said, look, I want a picture with the girls. Can you imagine? There's a hadith where somebody comes to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and says, can I commit zina? And the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, would you like someone to do it to your sister? And you know what happened? They allowed this Muslim brother to come along, take pictures of the girls, and straight after, the entourage said, we want pictures with your sister. And the, his sisters are in hijab. And the brother's just like looking, and he said, but they're my sisters. Hey, no, 
The guy is saying that we should exchange, exchange the groupies for your sister in hijab. After I seen that he took pictures with the, sis with the, with the groupies, I went over to him and said, look, brother, what are you doing? You know, don't, don't sell your deen for this dunya. Yeah? You see what he's just done and I reminded him, I told him about the hadith and I told him, look, you know, you've took pictures with some girls and now they want pictures with your sisters who are in, who are, who are in a hijab. And guess what happened? The sisters were taking pictures, hugging with the rappers, hugging with the entourage, taking pictures, even to the extent that he commented that he could smell her musk. Now after all this happened, you know, I was shocked, you know, I didn't actually see everything at the time, this was afterwards on the, on the, on the video footage, that I actually seen one of them kiss the sister. It's just very sad that the youth are seeing these people as role models, they're looking up to these modern idols, and they're, they're looking to them for guidance. Now to the followers of these rappers, I just want to say, look, guys, these rappers are not happy with their lives. These are not role models for you. It's time to look elsewhere. Respect yourself, respect your own life. If you look at Noah's Ark, Prophet Nuh, alayhi salam, look at his Ark. Are you going to get on the boat? Are you going to get on the deen? Or are you going to step off the boat? If you stay on the boat, you'll be protected from the evil of this world. If you get off the boat for a second, you have the possibility of losing it. And you're open to destruction. Take a big think about what you want to do in life. It's not a joke. As they say, life is not a game. I just want people to know that Islam is a beautiful, peaceful religion, you know? And it, it's, it's more than a religion, it's a way of life.